This is the fifth step to solve any subnetting problem. Hi, my name is Jelana James and I'm an AWS and CCNA certified IT professional and the creator of the four column method, subnetting cheat sheet. If you haven't watched all the other videos, please go back and watch because I'm going to walk you through how to quickly solve every single subnetting problem. Okay, so first you need the four column method subnetting cheat sheet. If you don't know how to create it, please watch this video here. Please subscribe. Here's a five step subnetting process. We went through every single step and now we're on to the calculate step. It looked like a lot of work, but actually on exam day and with some great, some steady practice, you will be able to quickly subnet any subnetting problem on subnetting day, on exam day. Okay, step one, find the interesting octet. We found out that this was this one using one of four methods. Next is identify the subnetting row. Remember you start from row zero and you count from the nearest seater without going over. So for 26, we go 24, 25, 26. And we've identified this as a subnetting row where we would get all the answers for our subnetting problem. Okay, the next step is to find the block size, which is this 64, so that we can block out our IP address and the appropriate blocks. Next is identify the next subnet so that we can identif quickly identify the broadcast and the last IP address, and then the fifth step is to calculate. All right, so let's see what that looks like. So uh, this is just to quickly summarize what we've already gone through, and now we're going to calculate. So on an exam, if you're given this IP address with this seeder, and they ask for the first address, last address, broadcast, as well as a number of host, if that's needed, then we will be able to quickly discover, find out. All right, so let's go. The way that I like to start calculating an IP address is to write this template, I write N for network, F for first, L for last, and B for broadcast. Okay, so now I need to put um, block out my IP addresses. So the first one's going to be zero, and you need your block size for this. So the next one's going to be 64, because we have a block size of 64. And the next one is 128. I just always like to do three just in case I can get my rhythm. Now we've said that this one is the one that will contain our current IP address because it's 19. So let's calculate this. So broadcast is one less than the next subnet. So that would be 63. And then network is one more. Then, I'm sorry, first is one more than the network. So if this is zero, this is one. And last is one less than 63, so it'd be 62. And that's it, that's all you need. So now we can, the subnet mask we've already discovered here. So here, and it's 192. So you would write 255.255. .255. Two five five point one nine two. Okay, the first available address. Now, because it's, it's um slash twenty six and it's two five five two five five two five five means to just keep the number the same. So we're just going to write that. So one nine seven seven three five one, and I'm just going to write them all here. Okay, now that I can just focus on the last octet. Okay, so the first available one is 0 0.1. The last one is 62. And then the broadcast is 63. And you have everything that you probably, they probably would ask for on an exam question. Now the number of hosts, let's see, it's number of hosts is 2y minus 2. And that's a zero. So this would be two to the six minus two. So two to the six would be 64 minus two is 62. So 62 hosts per subnet. Now let's do a brand new problem. This is a class B address and see how fast the process goes. Okay, I identify the interesting octet. So this would be 255, 255. So it's going to be this one. So it's 0.72. Subnetting row, okay, it's 20. So we start counting at 16. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's this one. 
So that's 240, row 240. Block size, okay, so we just go over to column four. Let me just see it, 16. And find our subnet. So we're going in blocks of 16. So let's see, let's see if we can do it here. So zero plus 16 is 16, plus 16 is 32, plus 16 is 48, plus 16 is 64, plus 16 is 80. Okay, so it looks like 72 is going to fall inside this block. And we need this to find the, um, the next, uh, the broadcast address. So we need that. So know that it's 80. So the next subnet is 80. All right, let's start calculating. Subnet mask. So the subnet mask is 240. So it's going to be 255, 255. 16, let's see, and 240.0, got it. Okay, and now because we know 255 means to take the exact number, write it as it is, so we'll just complete this before we fill it in. So two, it's 171, 251 dot something, 171.251. That way when we come up to write our answer, all we have to do is just fill it in quickly. 171 point. I hope that you can, guys can read this with this pen. Okay, so let's start calculating. So the first thing we need to write is N, F for first, L for last, and B for broadcast. And we know that our subnet is going to fall in here. So let's just do two so you can get used to it. So we're going to put 48.0 because we have to count for two octets. This one's going to be 64.0, and the next one's going to be 80.0. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. The broadcast is one less than the next one, so 64 is 63.255, and then let's do the bottom of this 80, so it's 79.255. Okay, and for uh, the first is one more than the network, so 48.0 is 48.1. And one more than this is 64.1. Okay, and one less than the broadcast is 63.254. And one less is 79.254. And we said 72 is in this one, so this is where we'll get our answers from. So let me, uh, actually, yeah, let me just change the pen so you guys can easily see it. Okay, so the first address will be, sixty. No, that, uh, no that's, that's not first. <laughs> the first is going to be 64.1. So the first one is 64.1. And the last is going to be 79.254. And the broadcast is going to be 79.255. And then the number of hosts, that's going to be a separate video because this is not so easy to find because as you can see, it's 2y minus two and y is the number of zeros. So the number of zeros is, this is a class B, so it would be like this, plus eight. All of these would be like plus eight. So that's how you would get it, you know, but that's a separate video, so I don't want to confuse you. But essentially it's two to the 12th. So two to the 12th is... Four zero nine six minus two is four zero nine four. But that's a separate video. But I did want to show you that you can still use your same four column method to calculate the number of hosts in class A and class B and class C addresses using just a simple four column chart. But okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that's the five step subnetting process. Identify the interesting octet, identify the subnetting row, 
find the block size, identify the next tablet, and then calculate. Very easy. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe.